And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Qatar versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape, but if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And so the battle commences. Al Mualad. Al Dossari. And crossed in there. And the cross is immediately dealt with. Zane. Leroy Zane. Karim Adeyemi. Oh, good looking run. Can he take advantage? And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Aldossari. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Promising move from Germany. And space to cross it. A very effective clearance. Real chance, and a goal! They've added to the lead, much needed security. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. 2-0 now, and back on the way. Alo Taibi. Ball retention so important. Akram Afif. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Spot on with that tackle. Musiala. Karim Adeyemi. 
Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. Real chance. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Germany have it back now. Janelt. Musiala. Strong but fair tackle. Al Shamrani. Al Mutairi. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And possession given away. Well, she wanted to let the play flow, but in the end decided that that wasn't possible. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Oh, a smart stop. And he's fired over the corner. Clearance needed to be better. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Musiala. Florian Wirtz, Karim Adeyemi, Wirtz, oh great attacking play, a smart stop here. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, not cleared away completely. Sané, and it's played into the centre. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal! Well, let's just have another look at this. The cross from Sané is hit into a really dangerous area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Al Shamrani. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And we're focusing on him for a reason, Stuart. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily, and he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. So off and running again here. Germany dominating the proceedings. A breathtaking first half showing. Will they be able to match that in the second? And tremendous individual skill. Now sending it in. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Karim Adeyemi. And he read it well. 
Alotaibi. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Germany sloppy in possession here. Homam Ahmed. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Crucial piece of defending. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. And unable to keep possession. Opportunity it is. And you cannot argue with a hat-trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Almoez Ali. Al-Rawi. Al-Mualad. Really committed himself to the tackle and a throw-in now. 20 minutes remaining. Al Rawi. Well, they have the ball once more. And playing it through. Oh, he stopped it. Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. And there's the delivery. Oh, yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it. Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. Wonderful piece of skill. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And over the touchline for what will be a Germany throw-in. Havertz. Yusufa Mukoko. Could be dangerous. Lovely ball over the top. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? And still an opportunity. Well, they can keep possession now. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Could be dangerous. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal, and just look at the celebrations. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. 
It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Can he find the right pass? Oh, surely! And the keeper more than equal to it. Alo Taibi. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. And the final whistle, the big story here, Germany have prevailed. Stuart, your analysis. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Yeah, all smiles as he grabs the match ball. He just had too much for the opposition today. They just couldn't handle him. And there's the delivery. Oh, yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence